gonna attempt to take all different forms of transportation to our favorite spots. Let's go do it. Welcome to Trippin' with Brad and Shyla. So we're here at the Portland Rose Garden, which is an international test garden. I think we're a little early though because they're not bloomed just yet, uh, but they are absolutely gorgeous when they bloom. And I think it covers a few acres, so definitely a lot to see. So that's a map of the grounds, and then all of these are all the different types of roses that they have. When this place is in bloom, man, it is incredible. It's probably, probably one of the prettiest spots in Portland. And that's hard to do because there's a lot of pretty spots in Portland, but it is incredible. If you ever get the chance, come check it out. I didn't smell. Time to head to downtown. Oh, we're gonna attempt to take all different forms of transportation to our favorite spots or spots we'd like to show you guys. Yes. So that's our goal next. Let's go do it. Born ready. My brakes aren't that good. which is the largest independent bookstore located in Portland, Oregon. I believe it's about four stories, but it is massive. You can find any and every book you could ever imagine here. They have new books, they have used books. It's awesome. This is where I work currently with the uh, Kinforkish. Has all the best cookbooks here though. If there's one book that I recommend above all else, this is it. Pick up this book, support the chef. He's doing good things. Fantastic book, fantastic recipes. So we, we rode the scooters over to Powell's and now we're gonna take the Nike Bike Town bikes down to the waterfront and to the smallest park in the world, which I think we showed you in the snow video, right? Yep. Yeah. When it snowed in Portland, so. We're gonna go down there and check it out. It's such a nice day today, so let's go. Oh, it's such a nice day out here. Just go 
go straight. Somebody took the sign off of it. There used to be a little tree here and a little sign. Looks like it's doing some regrowing. The Portland waterfront. Just rode the bikes over here. Who's poop on this lawn? I forgot how many how many geese are out here pooping. But man, what a fantastic day. It's just cool to be able to drive over the bridge almost every single day and go over the water. Kind of feels like Chicago, but the river is a lot bigger and to be honest, it's a little prettier. It's a little, no, it's, so easy. it's a little bit more lush than Chicago. Evergreen State. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to leave Oregon because it is so lush and pretty. But you know, full-time travel awaits, and that's uh, that's the ultimate goal of this whole thing. For sure. Okay, let's get back on the bikes. Keep going. All right, let's go. Running, run the stop side. No rules. I lost my banana, lost a mask. There's my phone in my pocket, hopefully. To the van to see the dogs. We're gonna get on this one, sorry. Let's go. So we're taking the Max to our one of our favorite lunch spots. Uh, the Max is like an above ground subway, I guess you'd call it for lack of a better word. So we're gonna go get lunch and then we might go get some ice cream afterwards. I'm pretty excited about that. The dogs are in there hanging out, and we checked on them, changed real quick, and now we're getting food. This is Guero, a really good Mexican place. They specialize in tortas and sandwiches and all things delicious. So we took another form of public transportation, which you guys just saw. We wanted to show you guys that even if you have a van in a city, you can still get around. Especially Portland has great public transportation. It was a good day. The weather kind of changed on us and got cloudy and cold, but it's still nice. It's still a good day. There's not much left, but I got the Pollo Pibil Torta. It's got lime mayo on it. It's got, I think, mango salsa. It's got all the good stuff. Finishing it up. What do you get? I got, I think it's called the cartful, and it has a bunch of vegetables, some corn salsa, and beans, and rice. Okay, we just finished at Guero, which was so good. Now we're walking just a few blocks to 50 Licks which is our favorite ice cream place. Yeah. So they're like a little bit caramelized. It is similar to the lobster, but they don't get to go. Oh, cool. so thank you. Thanks. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm out. Oh man, it's so good. 
I've got Mount Hood strawberry and oh shoot, blood orange something. I don't remember what. Tastes good. That's everything I hoped it would be. Oh, right, you got yours. Oh, I'm so excited. I got bananas foster. Which, vegan. Yeah, it's vegan. So, trying something new. It's like banana cream pie almost. Like, I love bananas. Mm -hmm. Did all the exercise and burned it off. Oh, back to check on the dogs. Let the dogs out. I think that's it for the day, right? Yep, I think that's it. I think it was a, a full day. It was a full day. So we'll leave you right here and we'll pick you back up next time. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Had a great time. Yeah, go get yourself some ice cream.